Good morning everybody. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022 and uh, we're at the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship which this ship's name by the way is Allure of the Seas and uh, this is what I'm having for breakfast today. i uh, got a couple of donuts right there. Vanilla with sprinkles and chocolate donuts. I also got some scrambled eggs with bacon in it. A banana, a couple of hash browns, two sausage links, a little bit of an omelet that my mom's friend gave me. And also got some honeydew and cantaloupe and a glass of Coke, Coca-Cola that is, apple juice, water, and orange juice. Yep, should be really delicious. We're on the island of Curacao, and uh, yeah, it looks like a pretty good island so far. This is a gift shop right there. Looks like a good looking island so far. I don't smoke. That clock they have on that building looks like a, a she made it look like a kiwi slice. That's really cool. Mom, 
can see on that uh, on that building, the cl their clock is is made to look like a kiwi slice. Oh uh, yeah. With a bird macaw statue the macaw line. next to it. Oh, it's a line? Oh. Yeah, I thought it has it. the lines going in like on a clock. Oh, I thought it was a That's kiwi. Why I think it's a line. But I guess it's a line. But you put a lime in a margarita or a tropical drink. So oh. why they that. But how can you tell the difference between a lime slice and a kiwi slice? Kiwis have little black dots around the edges and they don't have the white lines. Oh. Never knew that. Actually, I think that's supposed to be look like a rabbit character named Miffy. Remember that from my childhood? From my childhood? Yeah. That rabbit character was part of my childhood. Miffy. Look at the bag. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It's really cool. It's based on my childhood rabbit character.
from the stain of the stain is taken over from the rendition. Okay, so the drug stain is taken over. It was the West Indies a company that came here and started to slave with a slave from West Africa. So there was no indigenous war, and they introduced here the slave from West Africa. So for us all, it was slave to go, and from here was coming on the Australian, South Indian, South America, and New Amsterdam, and now they came to Okay, that is the location of, and this is also one of the foundation houses. This was built in 1800 and it was here a salt man. All the plantations have agriculture and family. We continue on this side. We can see that the history of the distillery, Senior and Company since 1896. The oldest was Jews. The Jews that came from Spain, Portugal, Netherlands, and the south. In 1492, started the Inquisition in Spain, and that's why the Jewish was not allowed to uh, worship their religion. And they take all the property. In three months, they have to leave the country, or they have to convert it in Catholic. And that's why they was moving to Portugal. Portugal, the king, wanted that they was working and increase the economy, because that was what they did in Spain. So then started the Inquisition, it was moving to Netherlands. Why? Because there was 80 years war with Spain, Netherlands and Spain, and Netherlands said all the enemies of Spain and Portugal are their friends. That's why the Jews was moving there. And the first Jew that came on board of the Dutch ship was Samuel Cohen, and he was living here eight years. Return going back to Netherlands and go to the community of the Jewish tell them that they encounter a paradise here in, in, this, in this area. And that's why in 1651 arrived the first congregation of the Jews. We continue. On this side we have the synagogue, the Jewish community. We have here the synagogue. My great Israel Emmanuel synagogue, and this synagogue was built in 1703, consecrated in 1732. This synagogue had the oldest Torah in the Portuguese language in the 13th century. It has also the ground is filling with the sand of the Holy Land. It has three meanings that never that you can forget. It is walking 40 years in the desert with Moses for to reach the Holy Land, the second for the Inquisition that started in Spain in 1492. They was not allowed to worship, so they have a secret room in their house, and they fill it with sand that nobody can hear the step. The third is because God said to Abraham that his descendant will be more than the sand of the sea and the stars in the sky. This is the Pilku. They have also the Teba, and they have a lot of idols. They donated to the uh, museum in Tel Aviv, a lot of items. This synagogue has a uh, Hanukkah lamp from more than 300 years. Okay? So we continue. I have a lot of history about the Jewish, because the Jewish, the Dutch, and the Africa was really our history here in Brazil. That is how we grow up in the society. Okay, here you can see four things for me.
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Master.
issue on the side here. And with some polenta. And of course, some very good hot ghost pepper. Oh yes, and enjoy your dinner. yourself because you will have to visit the white horse <laughs> yes and uh, by then you say ah you have to go back again on that white horse yes and then it's the turn for somebody else come let me show you something else you know why you have to take the laxative because sugar and you have to go to school so what happens if you have too much sugar in your system, you will be doing this in the class. Yes, and your report will not be so nice. So, you know, the low figures, and then you will get Yes, you will get five. Right over here. Share there in the back for me, please. Sure. Thank you. Come, honey. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Come, sweeties. Okay. Can you share for me? Squeeze it and share it. Mm -hmm. The name of this herb is stinging thyme. We say in Spanish, oregano, oregano. Smell it, son? Yes. God sleep. Got it? But um, when you want to do something extra for your hobby, you make a broth with the fish, and you put your sweet potatoes, piece of pumpkin, oh yes, and you put a piece of that herb in the soup. And when it finish, you will say, honey, yes, darling, you were spoiled today. Oh yes. <laughs> Food has an extra lovely flavor. The base 
so when you have a headache before popping a pill put a piece of basil beer in your ear it will draw out all of the headache i had one but i don't have it anymore so what do i do i take out the herb and i throw it away thank you but the basil is the first tea that our babies drink just after birth if you get out of bed but you feel like right foot is out but left foot stays in, you don't want, you have to, but take a basil bot and the basil, cucumber, tomato, whip up some olive oil, a dash of salt. Yes, delicious for your salad. Basil again, if you're tired because you sat a long time behind the computer, take the basil, rub it in your hands, smell it, cover your eyes, put it to the back of your head, relax, and by time, let's say 10 to 15 minutes, you're ready to go again. Well, we're not going very far. Is this your husband? Yes. Yes, come on, I'm going to use you. <laughs> <laughs> we have what? Watch your wallet. Okay. Yeah, hold it fast. Hold it, hold it. Don't you have a wallet? Yeah. Do you have this wallet? Yeah. <laughs> We're going on the wheel of fortune. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes. A The name of this herb, and she's not uh, so beautiful, but that's her name. It begins with dirty. W H. No letters? Uh-huh. Which letter? Nobody? No. Yes. Another letter, please. Nobody? W-H-O. Yes. And the last letter is? E. Yes, that's it. Mm-hmm. Now, business is slow. The girls that take this herb with the personal perfume and cinnamon, and they make a bar. And cinnamon makes things hot. <laughs> yes. And they will stand in the door. And on the scent, all of these handsome guys come walking along. Hi, sweetie, did you play basket? For a glass of wine, some beer, and by the time they are ready to leave, their wallet remains. <laughs> yes. Come, sweetie. Empty his wallet. Follow me. Kitty right there. taking our trees and investigate and investigate this tree is to make furniture oh. your bed yes whatever you want to make 
the brass yang log wood but if anybody has problem with the heart they dig out the piece out of the trunk of the tree put it in a glass with water and they drink it the following day relaxes the muscles of the heart it's very good because i seldom tried it but another thing again it's a beauty and look at the lizard right there it didn't run do you see it um, but sometimes they have the tendency to jump on you <laughs> he's not going to get that opportunity lazy lazy this tree we have a lot on the island we don't cut her off and if you do cut her off it's not every tree you can make charcoal with it because you can use it afterwards just turn your back to me and you will see some fruit hanging on the tree that is a calabash we saw one tree at the beginning of the garden, we saw the second one, and we saw this is the third one. If you see, you can see all the fruit is hanging on the trunk of the tree. Mm -hmm. And that is very unique, and not on the branches. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Not on the branches, but on the trunk. And with the branches, we weave basket. With the trunk, we build houses. With the leaves, we boil it with some salt. We gargle with it when you have a sore throat, and we use everything in the pulp inside. And Dina makes a syrup <coughs> for when you're coughing, cleanses your lungs. Beautiful. And a long, long time ago, they used to make sweet with it. You have to grind it, put it to dry in the sun, mix it up with just a little bit of honey, so you have something to snack on. Shadow, come sweeties. It's okay, Sean. Mm -hmm. There's a kitty right there. Nice kitty. I'm oh, just they got a cat over there. knows what it does with the agava? Yes, exactly. Don't leave nobody know that we have it. The tequila. But also aphrodisiac. When you cut a leaf, you point it and you put a bowl underneath it and the juices that runs out, the men. For you guys. It's better than the blue pill. Letter B. <laughs> yes. And then um, afterwards, twins. Twins. <laughs> twins, yes. Because uh, don't forget they said it's for the men. Better than the people. Let me show you something else that we No, that's good. shampoo with it because when you have cancer and you're doing chemotherapy and the hair is weak and it's falling out you use the shampoo the alu shampoo and with a cat's claw that's another herb with your diet and when you follow that exactly strict to the rules after that your hair will be tender because what the alu does it gives the muscles that are weak, they will get the blood circulation. And that is where the hair will start growing back out. 
But if you have dry heels, elbows, the cream, the oil, it's beautiful. For, especially for the men when they finish shave. The oil so that the beard doesn't come back out and goes back into the skin. What Andina makes also is the CBD oil. You put that under your tongue, relaxes you. Creams for tight muscles, for aches and aches. Oh, sometimes you want to, but you can't. My knee is hurting, my thigh. Oh, we have creams for that. But you can have a look back in the shop. Over the side. Oh, before we continue, something very important. If you have kids home, moms, grannies, please have coconut oil in the house. We grew up with coconut oil. Never, never runs out because we self-make it. Coconut oil. If the baby has a fever, you rub the kid down with the coconut oil and you take a piece of potato, drizzle some coconut oil <coughs> with a piece of basil under the foot of that kid, draws out all of the fever. But if you don't have enough coconut oil, you just put the basil, the leaves on a towel, put the baby on it, cover him up or her, and then the herb will draw out the fever, the same thing. If you have an um, elder that suffer from gas, this is a must. Almond oil and the coconut oil. Put the two of them together, you warm them up, squeeze the navel, go into a fetus position, and then you will hear. Have a look right here, the branches of the calabash tree. Mm -hmm. And from the trunk of the tree is this beauty. From the calabash. That's why I said we don't show nothing away. And this is a cow skin. We take the cow manure, the chicken manure, the goat manure, we mix them all together and we splash it against the house with some white chunky paint and the house is done and everybody sleeps on the ground. Question again, weren't you afraid of insects? No. Insects doesn't like the scent of manure. Not at all. So everybody is safe and sound and fast asleep. Another secret. What did you say? Your girls, boys went to the distillery factory? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> my Aunt Dina is first because she makes a sorrow wine. Yes, better than anybody. This is a round that is done, 60 meters, wait, 20 meters deep, somebody said 60 feet. It still has in water if you want to have a look inside, hold everything, your shades, pockets, your water, hold everything. Because if anything falls inside there, you won't get it back. But if you fall inside there, then I will have to jump in. Uh-huh. Just for me. Oh. Yes. Oh. Long way down. Yes, it's very deep. On top of that, we have another kind of calabash again. It looks like a long way down there.
had your right there with a charcoal fan. A couple of dogs in there. Baby. Good puppies. Good dogs. Hey guys, today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, and uh, we're back in our cabin after a day at a. What was the name of the island again, Mom? Curacao. Curacao. And, uh, and 
we're on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship called the Allure of the Seas, and this is what I'm having for dinner tonight from room from their room service. Got a Caesar salad right there, and it's got a hot dog with ketchup on it and French fries with ketchup on the side. Yep, should be really delicious. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. We're at the Azumo restaurant on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship. And uh, this is what I'm having for dinner tonight, an appetizer for tonight's dinner. Got a salad right there with ginger, kind of sauce, and some vegetables in it. And uh, it's got a glass of water right here. Yep, should be really good. Okay, guys, I'll be right back for the entree. This is what and garlic, everybody's giving me the garlic. Yeah. Alright, garlic, good for your health. Yeah. 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 More rice, more power. All right, now we're gonna make the garlic nice and brown. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, that's a taki. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I have the your food. Thank you. Uh, uh, avocado, yeah? And uh, bring the food. Thank you. Thank you. Green onion. This one, this is what I have the roll. With the eel sauce on top. Or over the top. And the drink of the sotarasi. The chili flakes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you go okay? Did you go okay? Good, yeah. Nice and brown. Thank you Japanese 
Alright, we're going to roll it. Hey, girl. Y'all want to eat that, girl? I spin my egg right now, right down. Here we go, roll it, roll it. Ooh, that was cool. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Big omelette. Here in the log, we have actually 80,000 eggs on board. Wow. So don't think about the diet. 80,000 eggs, every fruit. Yeah, but unfortunately, we only have one chicken on board. <laughs> That's gonna leave the yolk. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a lot of eggs. Japanese pizza. Oh, oh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, Water. <laughs> <laughs> 
Japanese ice cream and diet Pepsi to keep you young and sexy. <laughs> Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, and we're at the Izumi restaurant on the Royal Caribbean cruise ship, which the ship's by, name, by the way, is uh, Aurora of the Seas, and this is what my, our chef gave to us from, the, from this restaurant. Got some steak right there with some chicken slices, some vegetables, and some rice. And um, it's a non-alcoholic non poo-poo drink. And I also got a glass of water right there. Yep, it's really good. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. I'm at the Azumi restaurant on the Royal Caribbean Cruise Line ship. Which the ship's name is, by the way, is Allure of the Seas. And this one I'm having for dessert for, from tonight's dinner. 
Got a chocolate lava cake right there, and uh, with a, some whipped cream, I believe that's what it is, with a blueberry on top. The first time you have and, uh, yeah, she yeah, really delicious. Hey everybody, it's Sean Murray. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, and uh, just wanted to tell you guys real quick what we've done on day 6 of our... 2022 Royal Caribbean Cruise Line vacation and here goes um, after we got up uh, we ha we went over to the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet restaurant for uh, some breakfast and then after that we uh, went to uh, an island our third uh, port called uh, what was it called again mom Curacao. Curacao. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we explore, and then we explored the shopping district that they had over there, and they had a couple hotels in their on that area too. And um, after that, after we looked around the area, uh, we came back onto the cruise ship, and uh, we we had a little snack and some drinks. Um, while we were waiting for our tour, bus tour to go take a tour around the Curosa area and um, then we took the tour to around the Curoso area and it was a pretty good bus ride and um, we during that bus tour we also took a little tour of the uh, uh, some kind of li liquor uh, distillery what distillery distillery uh factory and uh we also went to a um a herbal her farm a herbal farm and uh, it was a pretty good farm there and saw a couple of cats in there with the, with all the food that they grow there and even saw a few dogs in there too you yeah, know they were cute and good looking too and uh, and then after the bus tour we came back to the onto the ship and um, we relaxed for a little while and then we had a late dinner at the uh, Azumi uh, Asian restaurant which is here on the ship and uh, we had a pretty good meal there they had like a dinner show where the chef like prepares the dinner for you like in front of you at your table with us with a grill in front of it and um, yeah it was pretty cool and uh, now we're back in our cruise cabin and uh, we're gonna go to sleep in a little bit alright guys so that's it for day 6 of our 2022 Royal Caribbean Cruise Line vacation and uh, I'll see you guys for day number 7 of our of our vacation okay see you guys then okay see you guys later bye